I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always have my own bag Never needed no man to rely on got to Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel I hope you are all doing amazingly well So we are kicking off Fragmas from Abby with Love Way because I may or may not have videos out every single day but you're definitely gonna see more of my face throughout the month of December but before I start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is also do not forget to follow me on Instagram you can scan the QR code on the screen and give me a follow that would mean a lot to me so let's kick off this amazing video with 10 incredible designer perfumes that i feel that you guys would love as much as i do starting with c intense by giorgio armani this is my favorite c from the c line i got a 30 ml this perfume was released in 2021 it's a fruity floral scent with a lot of fruits it has black currant syrup in the opening which i absolutely love you get turkish rose davana patchouli and also benzoin the patchouli here is beautifully done this perfume is just well crafted really really long lasting perfect for a signature scent it's great for everyday wear amazing to wear to work it's gonna get you a lot of compliments because it gets me a ton of compliments so that is c by giorgio armani next perfume is ambre nui by christian dior this perfume is one of my favorite from the private line this was actually released back in 2018 and i've had this perfume in my collection i want to say about three years it could be less it could be more i actually love this perfume i really enjoy the scent profile now to me this is like a floral ambery scent it's quite sparkling it's quite bright it's actually a perfume you can wear all year round i will spray heavy though because personally i like to spray heavy because i like my perfume to project i like it to last i want people to smell me and i love this perfume i will always repurchase this <laughs> when i get some extra cash because the prices of the private line have gone up so so high and because i want to get this particular bottle which is nearly 400 pounds um uh, pray for me um i really really want to get this particular size but if i can't i don't mind going a size down because they have a 40 mil which i'm not gonna get that is a pointless size to me um uh, there's 125 mil and there's 250 mil and i think there is a 400 mil which does not have a sprayer so i would definitely stop here because the 400 ml without a sprayer is just it's just going to be useless for me um i don't want to have to keep decanting it into an atomizer to use it but anyhow amber nui is probably one of the best from the whole dior private line i highly highly recommend it she likes it my way the next perfume on my list is my way by giorgio armani i am freaking obsessed with this clearly i have used this perfume so much it is a beautiful orange blossom tuberose perfume it has a great longevity amazing sillage compliment magnet great for this time of the year it's really cold in london and i wore this perfume a few days ago and i could smell me from morning up until night time my colleagues were asking me what i was wearing so people can smell this on you it has amazing amazing projection it was also released back in 2021 i don't know why i thought it was released a lot later but anyhow it has notes of orange blossom bitter orange tuberose vanilla and sandalwood so this is the ultimate floral scent but it's not it's not too floral because i find tuberose is one of the most florals perfume notes to my nose it is so bubble gummy it's not like a very dated type tuberose is bubble gummy it's playful it's fun it's amazing my way intense by giorgio armani this list will not be complete without my lib le parfum this is the only lip that i personally enjoy i do like the intense but i did swap out the intense for the le parfum because i find the honey note in here to be really really pleasant the lavender hair isn't too strong just don't over spray this perfume because it's just not needed the more i spray this because i have once choked myself out the more i spray this perfume the the more i get the lavender which irritates me because i do not do lavender in perfumes it just doesn't 
work well with my nose but the lavender hair is subtle as long as you underspray <laughs> look at me <laughs> underspray mm -mm. this was released back in 2022 it has notes of lavender ginger mandarin orange bergamot saffron orange blossom bourbon vanilla honey tonka bean and vetiver what i get most is the lavender a lot of the orange blossom and a ton of vanilla this is such an amazing amazing perfume literally five sprays will have me smelling amazing all day and all night long so that is lib le parfum the next perfume is luby croc by christian lubiton let us just appreciate this bottle my goodness now this is a weapon in itself this perfume is so so heavy the cap is heavier the glass is super heavy and i love it i love this perfume it is one of the best from the line i have luby um rouge which i absolutely love but anyway this was released back in 2020 it is described as like a woody powdery perfume it has notes of myrrh cypriot oil and also sandalwood so you get a super woody like for me anyway it's giving a creamy woody very very lovely perfume the longevity here is average but you can overspray it reminds me of myrrh and tonka by joe malone it's a simple perfume that smells incredible you don't have to think about it yes it's pricey but i really hope you guys got your hands on a lot of perfumes um, during black friday because i certainly did it's definitely a no-brainer type of scent great for everyday wear great for going out in the evening it's such a simple yet very fascinating type of perfume so that is luby croc by christian louboutin so the next perfume is la vie a belle la extrait i'm just gonna keep this here because if i bring it closer i don't want that to yeah that is a bit reflective now this is the only la vie a belle that has oud and when this came out and they announced that it was gonna have a note of oud i was a little bit like mm, i don't know because i i just didn't know how the super super sweet la vie belle was gonna work with oud but it works so perfectly in this perfume this came out in 2023 and it was kindly gifted to me by one of my amazing subscribers ton sister manuela hi she gifted this perfume to me on my birthday last year and it means so much to me now this perfume has notes of frankincense red fruit it's got bergamot iris rose and of course oud now what i get is not a super super sweet la vie belle you do get the dna for sure but it's not like it's not like exactly the same because you guys already know i just don't like la vie belle i think it's because i i have a really negative scent memory with la vie belle and there was a time where that was the only perfume i could smell on every person like every person that i came across either smell like baccarat rouge 540 or la vie belle so i think that just made me became so sick of that scent profile but i love this one this is so amazing it does have oud the oud that's in here is very subtle it's not a forward note in the perfume you get your sweetness you get your spiciness you get everything in this perfume i absolutely love la vie belle le extra next we have the almighty baby cat by ysl this perfume, I was looking for you. I was looking for you for a very long time, but I'm really glad that I have finally found this perfume and I added it to my collection instantly. Now, this is a peppery, spicy, fresh vanilla scent. And I know fresh is like fresh. There's a freshness about this perfume. I can't even describe it. It feels like a fresh, spicy, ambery type of scent. You get a ton of vanilla in the dry down. <laughs> The opening is giving spice, spice, and spice. But I love this perfume. In the opening, the mid, the dry down, you have to like a complex vanilla to really enjoy this perfume. It is perfectly unisex. It was launched back in 2022. And it feels like it was launched in 2023 for some reason. But anyway, this came out in 2022. And it has notes of black pepper, elemi, pink pepper as well, olibanum, saffron, vanilla, suede, and cedar. I will say one thing there's a leathery note in here somewhere i think it's coming from the suede there's a leathery note in here that i think may bug some people like me now i don't like leather in my perfume but the thing about the way this is done it feels so smooth it feels really subtle it's not too strong it's not like 
a powerful leather it's just there to kind of help ground the perfume i feel but you have to like your spicy vanilla this is one beast of a vanilla perfume vanilla perfumes don't always last very long but this one does so that is baby cat by ysl the next perfume is one of the best vanillas i've ever had my nose on and it is a black tie by celine i have been going on about this perfume at least for a year now and i will never stop this perfume came out in 2019 and it has notes of vanilla orange cedar musk and musk what i get most from this is a buttery vanilla it's a buttery vanilla it's a little bit earthy just oh, honestly like 0.0.5 percent like earthy in the base but you get mostly a very smooth and sweet milky maybe or even a creamy type vanilla it smells incredible it doesn't have the best longevity do not expect beast mode from this this is not like baby cat this is giving a bit more subtle it sits closer to the skin after i want to say around about three hour mark but you can reapply you can respray you can over spray this is a perfume that i love to enjoy i just enjoy this perfume is for me i enjoy it for myself this is one of those perfumes i couldn't care less if people smell it on me because i absolutely love it i love the way it makes me feel it's very cozy it's great for netflix and chill so that is black tie by celine prada paradox intense of course this perfume has to be on this list i love this and you know what i love most about this perfume it's refillable why are brands these days not doing refillable packaging i don't understand this perfume is a floral it's a floral with a ton of vanilla it has the original and we have the intense for me the intense is better there's another one they released i think that one is unnecessary i forgot the name of it i'll, I'll leave a picture there it's just an unnecessary perfume but this is very very necessary this perfume was released back in 2023 and it has notes of pear neroli bergamot moss jasmine neroli essence bourbon vanilla vanilla and amber now this is again a really beautiful vanilla it's very floral very very floral just imagine the original prada paradox with infused with maybe an extra 50 percent of vanilla that's what i get from this perfume amazing longevity incredible sillage just an all-round incredible perfume is great for this time of the year it's amazing to wear to work it's amazing to transition from um day to night i'm obsessed with it so that is prada paradox intense and last but not least is my baby oud bouquet by lancome look at the dent guys you already know i have an empty bottle of oud bouquet i think i showed it on my instagram again if you're not following me on instagram give me a follow um i am obsessed with oud bouquet those of you that have been here for a while know how much i go on and on and on about this perfume but you're about to get even more sick of me because i am going to be wearing this a ton during this time of the year because this to me is so sweet it's so delectable it's got oud it has praline it has vanilla um it has rose it's one of the best rose oud combo perfume in my entire collection and i love it longevity is two days literally two days plus it projects like crazy this does not leave your skin this does not leave your vicinity this perfume is perfection in my opinion but you have to like your super super sweet type of perfume because this this is sweet just like me so that is oud bouquet by lancome so my lovelies that is it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching let me know your favorite from my list and let me know the ultimate designer winter perfume in your collection comment it all down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye